College football home underdogs playing with revenge, coming off a home win versus another versus an opponent, I should say, also coming off a win, but with a shaky track record on the road. How do they do? Well, I am going to enlighten you on exactly that uh, as it applies to the game between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Illinois Illini game that will take place in Champaign, Illinois on Saturday. Before I get to that, folks, uh, the analysis, the free pick, and that betting angle, uh, keep in mind that if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, it's absolutely free to do so. You just click that subscribe button underneath, and uh, there's no strings attached, no hidden agenda. You're just subscribed to what I consider, and I, I can say with utmost, utmost confidence, the best sports betting channel on the internet and on YouTube today. And amongst not only myself, but I am fortunate enough to be amongst the top sports handicappers in the world right here on Wager Talk TV. And also, folks, click on that alert notification bell in your YouTube settings for Wager Talk TV. You'll be notified immediately upon any of our free pick videos, our podcast, or any instructional videos going up on our great channel. And one more reminder, folks, there's a like button underneath. Don't forget, smash that like button for me. Just a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day right here at Wager Talk TV. And for those of you who have been doing that for a while and following these videos for a while, you know I've hit around 58% of my free picks on this channel since mid-March. And uh, you, you've been more than gracious upon hitting that like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel. For those of you who don't, please do so. It, it, I'm not asking for a hell of a lot here. It's not like I'm asking you to take $100 out of your pocket. I'll get to that later, though. All right, let's get to the matter at hand, and that's the Kansas and the Illinois game. Um, both of these teams coming off decisive wins in week one. Uh, under this current era of college football at Kansas, uh, they're extremely improved. Uh, over the last, when you compare that to over the last, I don't know, decade and a half or so. And it all coincides with uh, head coach Lance Leopold's arrival uh, as head coach in 2021. All right, he got off to a shaky start as in Leopold's first year, the Jayhawks went two and 10. But then in year two, they improved to six and seven, including a bowl appearance. And last year, nine and four, including a bowl win. Uh, that's the best that Kansas has been uh, over the last two years since going back to the Mark Mangino era, for those of you old enough to remember that. However, they're going to be playing a, uh, a road game here, and that's not been their strength over the years. Now, I know they won three games on the road last year, but hear me out, and I'm fully aware I made the point that Kansas football over the last two years is much better than it's been over the last decade and a half. I get that. All right, but they're 8-71 and 71 straight up in their last 79 away games. That includes 27-47-1 against the spread. They only were a favorite on five occasions in those last 79 on the road. They went 3-2 and two straight up in those games, but were only 1-4 and four against the spread. Now, Illinois will be playing with revenge. Uh, they lost 34-23 at Kansas last year and failed to cover as a three-and-a-half point dog. And I remember that game vividly because I was on the wrong side of it. And uh, the 34-23 final score isn't as indicative as how Kansas dominated that game. Illinois scored a uh, late, late touchdown to make it look respectable. Uh, but here's the thing, Illinois, in their last six non-conference home games, a perfect 6-0 and straight up. In their last nine non-conference home games, 8-1. and So you got a team that's very good of late in non-conference home games. You got another team that was 3-2 and straight up last year on the road. But, um, again, I uh, already noted uh, their struggles over the last decade or so on the road. And so I got a college football betting angle as it applies to this game. 
And folks, I just don't solely rely on betting angles, but when they, uh, they're they added significance to how I like a game, let's put it that way. If if indeed it makes sense, and when I, it, if indeed it, I deem it to be strong, and uh, both cases apply here. Anytime you have a college football home underdog of 13 points or fewer, like Illinois will be on Saturday, and they're coming off a home win by 22 points or more in their previous game, and they're playing with revenge. Again, Illinois playing with revenge from that loss at Kansas, and they're facing an opponent like the Jayhawks, who are coming off a win by eight points or more. Uh, those home underdogs have gone 15 and 0 against the spread and 11 and 4 straight up uh, since uh, 2019. And those four straight up losses, folks, just so you know, because I know I mentioned it's a home underdog at 13 or less, and the line here is only five and a half, but they've covered all 15 games, the four straight up losses under this category or under this betting angle is uh, they all came by three points or fewer. So I consider this to be a strong betting angle, although it's not a big sample size at 15 and 0 against the spread. And although it only goes back the last uh, five plus seasons now, uh, but I still like it. I still like Illinois here plus five and a half over Kansas on Saturday. My college football premium picks, folks, need to invest a little bit of money to make a lot with me over at Wager Talk. Going back to last year, 12 and six with my last 18 college football premium picks. And also since September 9th of last year, on a 64 and 45 run in college football. That's good for 59%, folks. And it's made my clients a net profit of over $3,700 during that stretch based on our grading system at Wager Talk. Speaking of our grading system at Wager Talk, I finished number two in money earned last year, uh, college football and NFL combined. And my 5% top plays, I don't give out a lot of these. But when I do, you need to pay attention. 24 and 10 with my last 34 uh, 5% top plays. That dates back to February 4th of this uh, of this year. And uh, that's good for 71% and also good for a net profit of $6,500. So you can find all my subscription plans at my direct link at Wager Talk, which is wt.buzz slash RB. You'll see that right underneath me. That's wt.buzz slash RB, 529 college football, 529 NFL, college football and NFL combined 799, folks, to get a handicapper that made a ton of money last year. Only one guy was better than me on the whole site last year, co combined college football and the NFL. So invest, invest some long-term money. That's the only way you're going to get a true indicator on how good a handicapper is for you and giving him the best opportunity to maximize your profits. So, again, folks, wt.buzz slash RB. Until the next time, uh, which will be tomorrow, I'll be back with some NFL free pick videos tomorrow. Yes, NFL Week 1 starts this week, folks. Until then, take care and God bless.